What's up everybody? This is Zach with the Nerd Cave. Hope that you're having an awesome day. We are playing the Outer Worlds. We're going to do the character creation today to show you what's all in the game. I actually had done this before, but for some odd reason, I didn't turn on the audio for the game. So we're going to do it again so y'all can hear everything. Y'all can kind of feel what it is and everything. Uh, I'm enjoying the game so far. I've only played just very a little bit of it, but it is really, really cool. Like if you are a person that enjoys Fallout or if you enjoy, you know, um, like Bioware games or, you know, that sort of deal. Obsidian has been doing this for a while. So definitely it is something that you would enjoy if you're into those games. It reminds me a lot of like fallout and knights of the old republic uh in a sort of way it's not 100 percent there uh but it definitely feels like it is one of those games that it's like it's taking these ideas and it feels a little bit more fleshed out there's a few stutters here and there i'm playing on the pc version of it uh but i'm really enjoying it so we've got this colony ship called the hope uh and we've got this guy that's like going into it to steal a colonist that the Halcyon corporations have left for dead. Phineas Vernon Wellness, fugitive wanted by Halcyon holding boards for crimes against them. Or crimes against, I didn't get the last word. But you can see how there's so many people here. It's crazy. Of thousands of colonists left to drift out yeah. here forever just to keep not me. damaging the not me, man. Line. Not it's me. Crazy. Not me. So I created one. I'll show you what it looks like, like right now, who I created. This time I'm going to create something different. Something different. Uh, so you get. With this one, it's kind of a flip. Usually you start with the appearance, then you get the attributes and skills and the aptitude and all of that. But I, I like that they did this first because you actually focus on it. You usually like put a ton of time in the appearance and then you get bored and just ready to play when you get to this part. But I like that they started with this and they've made games for a while. So uh, I usually like, I try to give my person like a, like a good just basis to start off on um with anything hey pugilist how exciting nah. i hear monarchs in need of more game hunters there we go so just this is a little bit different than mine but uh your aptitudes was kind of the job that you would do but it does ha come with a plus or a minus to like some sort of damage that you might be getting food addictive tester so like if you're playing on the harder difficulties you would want either that or a beverage service technician is the food and beverage like actually matters to like when you're playing the harder the hardest difficulty so you have to like actually eat all of that um let's see let's see like i kind of want like inspiration or like something that's going to like help there this colony does love its elevators yeah okay so i created a mail the last time and i'll show y'all like what like we've already shown y'all what that looks like so i'm gonna do a female character this time Ooh. like a horror show I, going from like the first one it's like okay it's like huh, huh. i don't know i'm gonna stick with the first one there we go all right eye color there's a ton of different eye colors we're gonna make her like a sith this is gonna be darth xana if you ever read the darth bane books i don't remember what she looks like i have an idea but i'm not gonna change any of that i'm just gonna go to the hair so there's a ton of stuff like you can see there's a ton of stuff you can change like the brow horizontal you can move them together it looks pensive or you know really far apart i kind of like it a little bit closer together you know so you can see you can see how it like changes the face and 
that sort of deal or concave etc etc all that kind of stuff um so there's a lot of detail right there i don't usually get into that because i usually make some kind of monstrosity if i do that all right let's see and the hairstyles is like the same for both male and female you can unlock both kind of do like that haircut 12 let's remember that that's like the most lazy haircut that's like fallout haircut there we go <laughs> i'm just kidding let's go with 12 i like that haircut the best uh and then let's find the hair color that i want there are so many hair colors there's literally 50. you can make the joker you literally could make the joker in here i'm just trying to find like what i want i'm not not necessarily seeing it like what color is that is that like blonde is that a blonde i need like a brown to be honest i need like number three is that a brown that's like red why is like all the weird colors like we're in the weird i guess it's like going through the like the green blue yellow type deal there we go we'll go with that one all right let's let's find some eyebrows yeah girl that look good facial hair you literally could have facial hair that's funny they're literally letting you do whatever you want whatever you want whatever you want you have facial hair you could just be like this is me i'm almost i almost want to do that there's so much there there's a lot to it i love that they are adding things to make it look however you want and have you know options to have different things that is just so cool freckles i'm assuming is that like i don't know i have no idea like this is like you are dying like that's the color of you you're dead like you are already dead blood running from ah, ain't doing that okay just got like the beat up beat em ups and all that all right let's see got that smoky eye little much a little much but i'm fine with that and then let's make it really no i'm just kidding <laughs> all right uh name darth dana yeah such a good book you should check it out you, you'd, you'd be very happy with it i'm sure all right so there is the character creator it is very robust as you can see i like how they set it up with attribute skills and aptitude at the very beginning and then you really get into the appearance and you can dive deep into it it's not as deep as some other cre character creators i know some like really get into it like fallout 4 has had a really robust one but i think it has a lot especially in the customization and everything like l you can look at the two that i have already made and everything very different you know I, I just like it i wish there was more beard options like I, I wanted more beard options for my for nicodemus like i made my character nicodemus like i was looking for more on him for that but you know it is what it is but i hope that you enjoyed the video if you're interested in getting the outer worlds check it out it's definitely worth it we're going to be playing more and more on the channel uh so you can check it out see what if you, if you like it if you don't uh and if you don't want to get it you can just watch through my journey watch to see what nicodemus is going to do and all the crazy shenanigans that we're going to get up to uh we also have live streams every monday and thursday from seven to nine over at facebook.com slash nerd cave network you can check it out there we have a ton of fun play awesome games and just chill and hang out so put that on your calendar if you like the video hit that like button subscribe hit the notification bell and comment what what kind of character would you make if you if you have characters that you made 
it hit me up like send send to post them in our group and all that awesome stuff i'm looking forward to seeing all of those y'all have an awesome day and i'll talk to you later this has been zach have a blessed day because i said that twice that's okay y'all are awesome